Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my TBR video for June and Emery is going to help me today because it is Memorial Day weekend and Emery is home, right? And this is like her favorite thing of all time to do, right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty fun. And she gets her cast off on Wednesday. So let's talk about how I did on my last TBR. I did actually fairly good this time around. I'm not going to say I read all the books, but I did pretty good. Let's see. So I read the audiobook, which was the in-between Unforgettable Encounters During Life's Final Moments, which is the uh, hospice nurse book, which was really, really good. I gave that five stars. Uh, I read One True Loves, Fish in a Tree, and I read two books that actually weren't on my TBR. And then I'm also reading the Abby Jimenez book just for the summer currently. So I read like four books for my TBR, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and start. So I was going to do something different this time, like maybe wrap my books. You guys have probably seen that where people wrap their books and they pick a number and then they get to unwrap the books. I thought that would be really fun, but I was too lazy to unwrap all my books. And then I thought maybe my family could choose my books, so I would just let them choose anything off of my shelf. Like they could pick whatever they wanted, no prompts, and just have like my family pick. And I thought that would be really fun. But if you guys have an idea for like a fun game that we could do for like a TBR video, let me know because I would love to do something like fun and different. Because I've been doing this TBR thing for a long time, and don't get me wrong, I love doing this, but like I thought every once in a while we could switch it up and do something else. So I want to try doing my lucky hand. Well, Your lucky not hand. Not my very lucky one, but oh. a gift book. A gifted book. So this is a book that I've like received from a friend, or like, you know, I'm borrowing from somebody, or somebody gave me as a gift. And I actually have a lot from my sister-in-law Jessie, and I have a lot from my uh, cousin Chelsea. There's kind of a lot to choose from, so I'm gonna look. So I narrowed it down to two books. I have Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. Uh, Travis actually got me this book, and it's a YA, and it's about Medusa. And I am kind of interested in this. Like, I don't know anything about this book. I haven't really heard a lot of people review this book, to be honest. So I kind of want to just like jump into it. But then I also have this one. So Travis actually got me a uh, Darker Shade of Magic series like a few years ago, and I still haven't read it yet. But I've been kind of in this mood to read the series. I have no clue why, um, but it's been calling my name lately. And I feel like if something's calling your name, especially if it's been on your shelf forever, that maybe you should read it. What should I read, Emery? I'll let Emery pick. Which one? I this one. I don't know this. This one? This one? Oh, okay. Emery picks this one. So you're going to make me start a new series, huh? Because I, I feel like that. Okay. I actually think Travis might like the series too, so if I end up really liking it, maybe I'll have Travis read it. But it's like a YA, but it's a male main character, which I don't read a lot of male main characters in my books. And I don't know if this has a huge romance in it. I think it has like a little one, but like not, it's not like the main plot or whatever. So it's going to be this one. Make it good. Really? Really? What? <sighs> read it. It says continue or start a series. <laughs> so I just picked this one, which is starting a series. Yeah. And I don't love starting series. Like I only like to be in a few series at once or a couple series at once. And then I want to finish them before I start new ones. Like I don't like being in a ton of series at one time. So I think I might try to continue one. Am I in the middle of any series? I guess I could do like a duology. That's always a good one. Let me think. Okay, so I was thinking about continuing a series, and I was thinking about doing um, Ruthless Vows, because I read the first book and I liked it, but I've heard mixed things on the second book. I still want to read it, don't get me wrong, but I just don't know if I feel like reading it this month. But I think uh, I'm going to pick this book, which I think this is the second, or is this the third time I've picked this in a row for a TBR? I think it is. But it is Ruthless, or no, not Ruthless Vows. Uh, Court of Shadows by C.N. Crawford and I talked a little bit about this in my last video. This is like some random, like I kind of like C.N. Crawford's work. I read Frost and Nectar really really recently which I have to wrap up and talk about a little bit but I really like her books because they just are quick to the point romanticy books that aren't super long and I just really enjoy them. They're like a really fun escape and this is like a really really short little book and I think it has a competition involved in it. Um, I'm not too sure, but uh, I'm really curious about this, so I really want to read this. And also, Jodi, she used to be Vanilla Moon, she read this recently and she gave it four stars. So I think I'm going to like it. 
Plus the thing I love about uh, C.N. Crawford's books is that they are, they have large font, which I love when the text is large in books. I don't know why, it just makes me like enjoy the reading process a little bit more. So I think I'm really gonna like this. I have a feeling I'm actually gonna get to this this month. I just haven't yet. So this is gonna be another series. So I'm starting two series in one month, which isn't ideal, but we're gonna do it. A book with mixed reviews. Oh, a book with mixed reviews. So this is a book where you either love it or you hate it. You know, some people really, really, really like it and they say great things, but then you also hear a lot of negative things about it as well. So let me look actually in my Audible real quick. I don't know if I have anything in my Audible that would match this prompt. Oh, I could do The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. The Inmate by Frieda McFadden. I know that one was a little bit... Um, some people like it, some people don't. I've never read a Frieda McFadden before, but I know that people that like Frieda McFadden were kind of so-so on the inmate. So that one would be work, I guess. Let me see. Let me look on my shelf. Okay, I found one that I want to read. So I'm going to pick When in Rome. And this is by Sarah Adams. And I have just heard so many mixed things. Like some people love this and I really, really heard rave reviews at first. And then I started hearing not so rave reviews. Like some people are just so-so on it. So we're gonna read this one. I'm excited about it. I think it's like a celebrity romance. Like she's a celebrity and he has like a bakery shop or something and she moves to like this small town, which small town romances are always really, really cute. So I'm gonna go with When in Rome. And I am definitely in a romance mood. I'm always in a romance mood. So hopefully I really like this one. We'll see. Book I bought full price. Okay, so you guys know that I'm constantly thrifting books. Like, I never buy books full price, or I rarely do, um, unless I really, really want to read a book uh, right away. I'll usually buy it full price, or if I, like, buy from my local bookstore, like, I want to support my local bookstore, so I'll buy them full price there. I actually probably have quite a... Ooh! I know. Do I want another romance on my list? That's the one I was looking at. Yeah, I saw it. Or this one, but I don't want to do another fantasy. Flawless by Elsie Silver. I've never read an Elsie Silver and these little western cowboy romances are so flippin' popular and I was kind of being stubborn about them. I don't know why. Sometimes I get really stubborn about reading books that get really really popular for whatever reason but this one just kind of, I don't know, I, I finally gave in and this was at my local bookstore so that's why I bought it full price. But do you guys want to know what's so cute? It was my birthday and I bought two books there on my birthday because I wanted to like treat myself to a couple books and he gave me one for free because it was my birthday and it was so nice. So I don't know which one he gave me for free. I don't know if it was this one or Red Rising but one of them was free. So I guess I'll just go with Flawless. This isn't my choice I guess. Okay so we need an audiobook really bad so I need like a thriller or like a horror or something. <laughs> oh nature on the cover. Oh. So anything with nature like trees or flowers or anything like that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I could do um, Pen Pal. I'm pretty sure that has trees. Do I feel like reading Pen Pal right now? This is not a summary book. All right, you guys, I picked the most random book of all time. All time. But I remember seeing a review about this book from a beauty influencer. Like, she wasn't even a book influencer at the time. Or she's still not a book influencer. But she read this book and said it was really good. And it sounds like something I would like. Because I like survival, I kind of like help people held captive. I think books like that are really interesting. But apparently this is a Wattpad sensation, which I didn't know that. I didn't read the cover, I guess, when I bought this. But it's called The Cellar, and it has a flower right here, so technically that's nature. But this is, I think, about a girl that gets kidnapped or something, and she's held in the cellar, and she has to, like, escape. But I think in the cellar there's other people that have been kidnapped. And so they have to like find a way out or something like that. So I'm not exactly sure, but apparently it's really good. Like it's really gripping. Um, so we'll see. I mean, like I said, it's a Wattpad sensation. So I'm not really sure if that's going to affect the writing at all, but it looks like it's going to be a really fun, quick read. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know if it's actually as good as she said it was. So why do you have to? Because I like to listen to audiobooks while I clean. Mail a male main character. I could have picked that first book because it has a male main character in it. 
I don't have very many books with male main characters. Okay, you guys, I know what I'm gonna pick. This is a book I've been putting off forever, like forever. And it's been on my Audible forever, and I just always see it when I go through my, audi uh, my Audible, and I just never pick it to read. And it is, are you ready for this? Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. So Vicious was one of my favorite books when I read it. I loved it so much, and I love the characters. I love Victor Vale. He's one of my favorite characters. And I don't know why I haven't read Vengeful. Like, I really don't know why, because I loved Vicious so much. Um, so I'm going to go for Vengeful. Hopefully I like it. We'll see. Hopefully I like it as much as I liked Vicious. I've heard that people really like it, so I don't know why I haven't read it yet. So it's going to be that one. So we're reading a lot of male characters this month. I'm putting it in the... <laughs> like I'm editing it into the... <laughs> She's like, why are you going like this? <laughs> so we have an audiobook. So I have that checked off my list. We have one more. A romance. A romance. Romances are always good. <laughs> always good. Do I want to do a romanticy or do I want to do like a contemporary romance? Um... I um, this. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this? Oh, she no. says I should read. Oh no. Is, um, that, is that a romance? It is. I think it's a pretty romantic romance. Okay, let's uh, do okay, it. Let's see. Just... No, because I'm already starting two series this month. No. No. I don't know if I want to start another series. Ugh, I have heartburn. So I found my choice. Since we picked a. We have two contemporary romances. I didn't want to pick another one because I'm not going to read three contemporary romances in a month. But I found this one. This is The Never King. And I have heard very mixed things about this. I think this is a dark romance and I think it's like Peter Pan or something like that. Is this the Peter Pan one? Maybe it's not. Oh yeah, The Darling Women. So I'm not exactly sure what this is about to be honest. I just know it's like Peter Pan and I know it's dark. And I'm not a huge dark romance fan. Like it's not my favorite genre. Um, so we're just going to try it. And plus it's really short. So if I don't like it, then I'll know for the future if I should buy Dark Romance anymore. But we're going to do The Never King. That's short. It is short. Which that is fine. Short. So hopefully I like this, you guys. I have a feeling I might read this because I'm actually kind of curious. Because I do like Peter Pan. I really like that story. Um, so hopefully I like this. And I think it's kind of like Hook related. Like she ends up getting with Hook or something. I don't know. So we'll see. All right, you guys, so these are the books that I chose, or that Emery helped me choose. The Never King for, what was this? Oh, Romance. The Cellar for a book with nature on the cover. We have Flawless, which is a book, oh, a book that I bought full price, so that's Flawless. When in Rome is a book with mixed reviews. Court of Shadows is a book that is part of a series or starting a series or whatever. And then... A Darker Shade of Magic was, oh, a gifted book. So this is my gifted book. And then uh, Vengeful by B.E. Schwab was a male main character. So this is a interesting TBR. Like I've had TBRs where I'm like, oh, I'm so excited for my TBR. This one is unique. Like I am actually curious which ones of these books I'm actually going to get to. Like I don't know. Like, I'm excited for all of them, but, like, I feel like a lot of these are, like, mood reads. Like, you only read them if you're in the mood for that specific thing, you know what I mean? So, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, that is it for this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. And let me know, like I said in the comments, if you guys have any fun ideas for, like, a future TBR type of video. I think that would be really fun to do something kind of different next month. Alright, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a great day.